Welcome everybody. Uh, we are live. Uh, welcome to the Ecolinguist live show. This is the show in which we uh, improvise language challenges live on YouTube. So welcome everybody. Good evening, good afternoon or good morning. Uh, where, where, whenever you're calling from guys. Um, great. Actually, I got distracted because I was trying to get something to work. Uh, just give me a second and I will be get I will be right back with you saying if I press this here and I press this here you're going to be able to see that yes so the thing that I was fixing is the thing that I was fixing was this everybody so if you are a regular viewer you know that if you want to participate in the show live you want to call into the virtual studio that we have here uh, you need to be registered uh, to get the link with instructions on how to do it so if you want to uh, join us in a conversation later on this is the registration form that you need to fill in and you will get the link uh, to instructions how to join the link is in the description so check it out and today uh, it's going to be the, today's episode is going to be dedicated to uh, the Occitan language, as you probably know from the thumbnail already. And we're going to have a special guest that we I'm going to introduce to you in a second. So if you speak any Romance language and you want to uh, try yourself um, understanding the Occitan language, consider calling us in live tonight. Um, yes, so today it's it's basically going to be mostly about the Romance languages, but of course everybody's welcome to to uh, um, to watch and comment and uh, try to uh, participate as well. So without further ado, actually I have a uh, uh, Gabriel calling in, so let me just add him. Uh, okay, one second. So Gabriel, you are about to go live. Hopefully everything <laughs> works. Hey, <laughs> hey, Gabriel, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. What about you? Great, great, great. Uh, I'm glad that we uh, had no trouble connecting because you just got the link in last link last minute. So I was like a little bit uh, scared that maybe you would make it, but here you are. <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally, finally, we are making it happen. Uh, Gabriel, yeah. um, this is not your first time on the Ecolinguist channel. Um, we've made a video together a while back. Maybe you could uh, remind people what you did uh, on the channel uh, so they can st they start putting things together in, in their minds. And Sure. So, yeah, the first video we, we made together was one year and a half ago, maybe. Well, and time was, flies. <laughs> yeah, really, really. That was at the very beginning of my YouTube channel. Uh, that is all about the Austin language. So basically, I was uh, in your video for the uh, word guessing game. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I was the, the host. And I tried to make to make people guess some Occitan words, speaking all the time in Occitan. So there was really funny because we were uh, Occitan, Catalan, Italian and French. And it was really interesting to see how different and how similar some things could be. Yes, and it was a very popular video, uh, I must say. People loved it. And actually the link is in the description. So for all the new people who are just discovering uh, this channel or, or your channel, you can uh, all check it out in the description box. Uh, but uh, Gabriel, maybe tell us a little bit more about your channel because you kind of you were starting it uh, about one year and a half ago. And uh, how has it been for you? Like what wh what kind of community were you able to create on your channel? Because I've, I've seen that you've, you've grown quite a bit since then. Yeah, that's true. Well, the fact is that I speak Occitan in my daily life. And this is a very important part of who I am and how I live. Mm -hmm. But I realized that there weren't so many things in Occitan on the internet, on mm -hmm. YouTube. Mm -hmm. And all the things that were made in Occitan were not specifically done for, for, for YouTube. There was no 
Oxton YouTuber nor nor any Oxton podcast on YouTube. So typically when I created this channel, it was to make people, it was to create some sort of, I don't know, some sort of... A language resource maybe for people who are interested mm -hmm. in learning or not necessarily? Yeah, to, to learn the language, but also to provide a space for the language, actually mm -hmm. to make the language alive also in the internet and not just in my life or in special places. So basically when I started my channel, that was to, yeah, not just to promote the language, but to create something that I could love, that I could like, and to mm -hmm. share everything I wanted in my language so mm -hmm. that people could do both what I do, what I like to do, and how I speak and how we speak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you just wanted to create a platform for uh, all the people who either speak Occitan in, in their daily lives or maybe they're interested uh, in the culture to meet and uh, just create something new. Yeah, exactly. There yeah. was really the idea to, yeah, to create a space for some speakers and Oxton curious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's good. So uh, is all the content on your channel in Occitan or do you do also do videos in English occasionally? No, I, I always speak in Occitan, but I have the, um, the, um, I had the chance to speak two dialects of their son language. Mm -hmm. The language, mm -hmm. uh, dialect of my family, that is called Nisart, mm -hmm. spoken in Nice and Provence. And the Languedocian dialect, very central, very standard, as you could say. So basically, I speak both of them. I invite people speaking all the dialects of their son language on my channel. And I often do videos with people uh, speaking, for instance, Catalan, Burgundian. Uh, Piemontese, so that we have a language exchange and a language experience in languages that are not necessarily well known. Mm -hmm. That's very mm -hmm. important for me. Yeah, to show that Romans languages are really interesting. There are actually a lot of languages. So yeah, I want to show them. Yes, so so you kind of uh, invite uh, speakers of minority languages to kind of support each other and and uh, invite them to the space. Uh, into your platform, uh -huh. uh, featuring Occitan. Yeah, that that's great. Um, and um, mm, tell us maybe something about the Occitan language for people who are just discovering the Occitan yeah. language. Like, what should they know about it? Sure. So, well, the Occitan language is a Romance language, just like Spanish, Italian, or French, and it's mostly spoken in southern France. Mm -hmm. But it's also an official language in northern Spain, in Baidaran, in Catalonia. And it's also recognized and used in Italy, in what we call the Oxen Valleys of Italy. It's north, uh, northwest. Yeah, my geography is not that good, so I must concentrate. But yes, northwest of, it of Italy. And it's a language that has been really, really spoken, well, from the Middle Ages until... Yeah, mid, uh, yeah, mid of the twentieth century, mm -hmm. because after this time it ceased to be spoken as a first language because most of the speakers were getting older and they started considering that it was not a proper language, and mm -hmm. they decided to switch for French in France, Italian in Italy, and Spanish or Catalan, the Spanish state. So basically, today the situation is very. Well, it's a still a language that's alive, but it's not as easy to find Oxen speakers or resources as it used to be, for instance, well, a century ago, or even the, from the time of my grandmother, for instance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, are you a native speaker of Occitan? No, I'm not a native speaker. I'm more a heritage speaker. They say mm -hmm. the language was spoken in my family, but it was not the main language. Mm -hmm. They say we used to sing in Occitan, to have some Occitan expressions, to uh, reivindicate our Occitan roots. And I, I had some basis of the language, but I was not able to have a full uh, and really concrete conversation before I was 17. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you grew up uh, being expo exposed to Occitan, but <laughs> kind of uh, picked it up uh, uh, more officially, let's say, when you uh, 
uh, were a teenager maybe or, or an adult exactly exactly and that's i think now that i'm older that it was pretty interesting because i started to relearn or to reappropriate the Austin language when i was creating my own identity because mm -hmm. the very yeah the very question for me was who am i because mm -hmm. I, i felt i was occitan way before knowing the language and i really told myself once well, I'm French because obviously I speak French, but how could I be Occitan without knowing the language properly? Mm -hmm. So that was a very big question for me when I was 15, 16. And I really suffered about that because I said, I am quite empty. There is something missing in myself because I, I should be able to know the language. I should be able to understand what the elder people are saying in the language, but I can't. So there is a problem here. And that's why when I was 16, 18, yeah, 16, 17, I decided to, yeah, to be more Occitan in my daily life. They say I was trying to read in Occitan, to how to watch series or movies or things in Occitan, to speak or try to speak with native speakers, to discover associations to show my occitanity to the world with my computer with my mm -hmm. uh, speakers and a lot of things like that and yeah i really wanted to practice the occitan language as much as possible and yeah between my yes 18 year old and my 20 i i just started to speak occitan every day and thanks to this i discovered uh, new people, new spaces, new opportunities. And now I'm really proud to have the language completely. Of course, you never have any language completely, but I, I, am, I am able to live in that language. Don't struggle anymore with any dialect. I, I write the language every day with my friends. I speak it every day with my friends. It's really, yeah, 50-50 French Austin. And I'm really proud of that because that's not easy. And especially if it's not the main language of your family. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you have your platform that you share with the community. And that's also helpful. I, I yeah. believe. Yeah. Yeah. It's no, like, I, mm -hmm. no, tell me, tell me. yeah. I think it's like more inspiring, you know, when people see someone doing something online uh, uh, in, in Occitan, they start believing that they can also do something, you know, they can actually use this language um, in their online interactions. Because often the, the problem with the minority languages is that, you know, it's not really, those languages are not used in the online uh, environment for some reason. Um, but yeah, but you're changing that. So that's great. That's great. And, and today in the show, we also want to hear the Occident language, of course. So uh, we hope to improvise some challenges and I already see that people are calling in. So you guys just stay on the line. I'm going to add you uh, one by one uh, at some point, at some point. But I also see that people have questions uh, in the comment section, but not all questions are in English. Some questions are in some Romance languages. So uh, Gabriel, if you could like have a look at the, 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 the um, comment section and see if there are any questions that you'd like to answer. Um, uh, yes, uh, for all of you guys who want to uh, participate in the show, want to talk to uh, Gabriel in Occitan, uh, I just remind you that you need to register. The registration link is in the description box. You have to fill in this form. Uh, just in case we have to talk, uh, I have to talk to you later or something, I need to have your contact details and I also want to make sure that, you know, I'm talking, I, I'm giving my details to, to real people. So that's why you need to register. Um, and after registration, you, you're going to get the link with instructions how to join the stream. Uh, okay, so if you're just joining in right now, that's what we're doing. You, you can actually call into the, the studio, the, our virtual studio today and talk to uh, Gabriel, um, yes. So, have you have you found any questions that you'd like to answer in the comment section? 
We have uh, two, two interesting questions. The first one is about Catalan and Occitan. Like, mm -hmm. Is that possible to use Catalan as a bridge language to learn Occitan? And I, I really think it is because for me, they could totally have been considered the same language. Of course, they sound different, they have different mm -hmm. stories, but they're not so different in terms of dialectology. So that's that's actually a great opportunity for us as then to have some living Catalan communities who have this language for their native language uh, and as an official language. Mm -hmm. So yes, if you speak Catalan or uh, any if you speak, for instance, Valencian, if you speak Mallorquí, if you speak Aragonese, it's really, really easy to understand the Occitan language. Uh, I don't know if it will be that easy to learn the language, because obviously that's still a learning process. But if you speak Catalan, you have a very, very, very good advantage for, mm -hmm. for understanding the language to enter the language. Because typically, as an Oxen speaker, I had no struggle to understand Catalan speakers, even without any previous, yeah, previous learning. Mm -hmm. So yes, mm -hmm. of course, you can use Catalan as as a bridge language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the second question was about the resources and how uh, it was possible to learn the Oxen language. Well, it really depends on where you are. Uh, if you're living in an Oxton area, you may have some associations, some private lessons. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it's not the case, you have several resources uh, in books. We have a great, great, great uh, method called Assimil. It's all in French, but it's really, really well explained how to pronounce, how to uh, conjugate with all the dialects and stuff. Uh, you have some resources in Catalan that you can find in the um, uh, something called the Calc, it's like the center of um, I don't know how to say that in English, but yeah, F -F Catalan Oxfam Brotherhood, something like that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, so, so there are on... resources to learn Occitan, uh, but in Catalan, so you can learn Occitan through Catalan. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. And you have really great resources on a, I don't know if I'm able to write things in there. You can, you can write it down in the interview chat and I could display it or just in the general chat, you know, you can also just okay. Ah, okay. share so it. So you have there. a very great website that is called like this. Uh, and they do really, really, really nice work. Um, okay, so this is this is the website, right? Ah, how do you, yeah. how do you well, pronounce it? Yeah, I made a mistake writing. <laughs> write it down again. This is the card for. I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay, no worries, no worries. <laughs> Let me send it over. So yeah, it's it's pronounced Le Congrès Permanent de la Lingua Occitana. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a good place to start with. Yes, it's actually an yeah an institution where you have a uh, translator, French Occitan Occitan to French, just mm -hmm. like Google Translate in Occitan. They also developed a, um, a synthesizer, a voice. A robotic voice where you write mm -hmm. down any sentence and the voice that is really really natural will read the sentence so you can basically hear everything that is said they have dictionaries in all the dialects they have a lot of resources to know their grammar to have access to uh, a lot of uh, online resources it's for me it's the really for me it's the best but you also have mm -hmm. uh, this one um uh, uh, I think I think that's the name. Okay, let me get it on the screen. 
Yeah, and it's the same, but for uh, archives. You have a lot of very old uh, programs uh, from the television, the radio, uh, or something like that. And a really nice newspaper is that one, Journalet. Journalet, yes, let's, let's share that with everybody. And this is, is it for the... online. Is it an online newspaper or? Yes, yes, it's all mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. And you have all the news every day in Occitan. So it's okay. really interesting to enter the language in a daily basis. So actually, I'm very surprised how many resources there are, especially this this uh, technological solution that you mentioned with the voice, the, the automatic voice reading it, reading texts yeah. in Occitan. That's quite an achievement because this is uh, this is very. It requires a lot of like IT knowledge and and, and yes. stuff. Yeah, so that's 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 great that uh, it exists. Uh, okay, that's that's cool. Um, oh, Constantin Constantin has a question. How many people speak Occitan? Yeah, it's very really hard to have a yeah a figure about that. Mm -hmm. Because who is a speaker? Is that someone who is native, who learned, who is able to understand? It's pretty hard and depends a lot of the, on the studies. But we can say it's one million people are able to understand and have some knowledge in their own language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But on a, daily, on a daily basis, I've heard 200,000. And I think that's pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. So, uh, uh, Gabriel, have you prepared some challenges for today? For the yes, audience? I have some yeah. words. You have a few words that you could describe? Yes, so so you guys can call in. I, I'm going to start adding people <laughs> uh, so they can experience and we can actually hear the Occident uh, 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 today. Um, let me just, uh, maybe st let's start with Ruben, because Ruben, he is a, a, um, a regular guest of the show. So let me just try to add him here. One second. So everybody, uh, you can join at any time right now. So even if you see the, the, the screen is connecting, just stay on the line and uh, I, I will see you trying to connect and then add you when uh, there is time for this. Um, okay, okay, so let's, let's meet uh, Ruben. Hello, Ruben. Hey, hey, you guys. Hey, welcome back to the show. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Ruben, uh, Ruben, tell us uh, what languages do you speak? Just a, a quick reminder for for people. Uh, I speak Dutch, French, and English. And English, yes. Yeah. So for for this challenge, you would be using the the French language, I suppose. Yes, I would love because uh, I, like three four months a year, I live around Toulouse, so I would love to learn Occitan. I would love it because my neighbor was uh, an old lady and. She had a very strong accent, and I think she spoke Occitan, but she never really did it with me. So, <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's often the case. Like it's a really intimate language nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I saw your video, so I I, I love that language. That dialect, sorry, it's not the language. Di is it? It's a language, right? Yeah. So uh, it's a language. Yeah. yeah. It, it's a language. Yes. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you know, I think that uh, we can demonstrate to people how this challenge works, because Ruben, you already know how it works. You've done this before, uh, Gabriel also. Uh, so basically, uh, Ruben, uh, uh, Gabriel, am I pronouncing your name right, though? Because yes. it's spelled differently. <laughs> yeah, Gabriel, that's perfect. Gabriel, Gabriel. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gabriel. So uh, basically, Gabriel, you're going to describe a word to Ruben in Occitan mm -hmm. uh, without revealing the word, you know, so we just want to see if Ruben uh, can understand the concept that you're describing. 
uh, okay so uh, um, and Rub Ruben you will be responding in French so if you just want to like ask a, a clarifying question just just try to uh, stay uh, okay. in, in French okay yes. good so if you guys are ready I think we can start the, the, the first round but I just need to double check one thing uh, yes um, I have to double check this Yes, so um, Gabriel, if you're ready, we can start. Yeah. Hey, so. bonjour. <laughs> et adieu. Bon, à la vez, va commencer un mot qui est aisat. C'est pas tant compliqué. Alors, il faut que je liste. Ok. Donc, le mot que je vais chercher. Es qui con que se trapo uh, al interior, puede ser al interior de un hostal, al interior de una administración, al entorno de qué investimen que es yo, y servís para conservar el lloc net, porque es yo pa brut. Y dunco, el mood que se han acercado es lucete un sebut un tutto la caos que son brutos 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 Br qué es que qué es que es que se dir quoi brut es lo contrario de net es que ah, brut, de... brut brutos brutos ok ok uh, es que se un objet o un person parce que j'ai pas tout compris es mm -hmm. un sete es un sete ok uh, it sounds a lot like Italian sometimes by the way ok uh, es un sete um, uh, es que c'est un, uh, un objet qu'on utilise dans la cuisine par exemple oh ni a tout su en cada cuisine ok ok um, on fait oh c'est difficile en fait parce que Je parle pas la langue latin ou catalan, donc je cherche, je cherche, mais euh, ça ressemble pas pas beaucoup en français. Je cherche. Euh, Est-ce que tu peux me donner un autre euh, clou Désolé mm -hmm. pour. Euh, ouais. Une indicimai est une outset mm -hmm. qui a une forme redonde, mais un peu al... est un peu allongate, est redonde et allongate. Redun et lungat. Redun uh, et lungat. Donc, uh, ça veut dire, uh, c'est... Uh, redun, c'est quoi, redun? Je ne sais pas. <laughs> redun, par exemple, un obalo, un balou, est-ce que le soleil sont des causes redundes? Ah, ok. Um, mm, un ballon, ok. Uh, ouf. J'ai encore besoin d'un autre indice parce que je ne sais pas. Alors. Mm... Alors. Hein? <rire> si. Alors, est-ce qu'il connaît que est le bat cada matin pour des mondes? Le monde qui travaille dans une autre ville, le bon à cette cause, cada matin, pour ne pas ça la ville. Je suis désolé, je sais pas, mais je vais faire un. Uh, je, 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 I'm gonna make a guess. Uh, Est-ce que c'est un couteau? Je sais pas du tout. <laughs> non, 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 c'est pas ça. Ok. So, no, parce just que wait a dit... second. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ok, so you didn't get that one. That's fine. No. So, you know what we're gonna, going to do now? I think it's I'm going to. Interesting. Uh, I'm. I think I'm going to add one more person, and we'll see. Maybe, maybe Bjorn uh, understood something. Okay, let we, we're gonna give him a chance. Um... I do my best. I I understand like parts. Like I hear so many languages, that I get like lost in myself. But I I hear parts, and then I'm like, okay, this sounds like Italian, and this sounds a bit like French. But I think it's uh, if you don't have the have the base of Latin or Catalan, 
it's quite difficult. So I'm yes. doing my best. I'm doing my best. Yes, that's your thing. Of course. Of course. Yes. Yeah. So let's see. A, a Bjorn, uh, I can't really see your video and I can't hear you. I'm not sure if you're connected. Um, let's. Hello, hello. No, I, I don't think we're going to have Bjorn. Bjorn, I think you have to you have to reconnect possibly. Or if you just want to do the audio, just let me know in the comments that you you, you your camera doesn't work. Uh, okay, so um, who else I've got here? Uh, it's so funny because Occitan is a, a very, very uh, interesting language that I think is making a big comeback. Is it uh, is it pronounced also like is it also studied in schools now? in high schools in universities is it obliged or not can you like explain yes 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 actually it's re it's reviving like there is a great movement of, re of revitalization of the language mm -hmm. and i don't think it will ever come back as a first language but as a second mm -hmm. language i think it can really exist and a lot of people now are yeah are trying to 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 recover this language and to use it in formal and uh, private spaces. So yes, actually, uh, new people and, are... and, and and maybe the maybe the base of of doing that. For example, I make reactions to Eurovision, Junior Eurovision. I see a lot of countries in their own language can be through music and also through children. Like uh, those two are maybe a key for like a language, right or not? Am I wrong? Yes, no, you're absolutely right. There are a lot of uh, Occitan schools and Occitan... Yeah, actually, the Occitan music nowadays is really interesting. There are a lot of new albums coming out almost every every month. And they're... Okay. Okay, I'm impressed. That know. Yeah, it's always really cool. Yeah, but it's the problem is it's not... Um, like, for example, with uh, Benidorm in Spain, they did, for example, uh, people from Galicia had a song. And it blew up and it was like, you know, people started to getting interested in Galicia and the language. And I think if you try to do that, for example, you write a song for somebody in Eurovision or Junior Eurovision. I think if the song is good, it can make people interested in that language, for example. And also if kids at schools get it uh, uh, yeah, as an obligation, it helps also, I guess. So I guess those two things, yeah. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what I try to do. I try to normalize the language. This is my daily language. So I just use it as what it is, a language, not a political in, in style. The, in, the Pyr in the Pyrenees, they, they have accents and dialect. Uh, is that considered Occitanus or is that also different? Again, that's just my last question. Yeah, it, it depends actually where in the Pyrenees. But if you're talking mm -hmm. about Gascony, yes, it's Occitan. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so let's try to get back into the challenge. Uh, okay, so I, I'm gonna bring Leonardo, also a regular hey. caller. <laughs> hey guys! Hey Ruben! Hello! Hey, you had it! Hello, uh, how... Leonardo, thanks for calling back. We, we know Leonard, we know you because you, you are a regular caller and we also know you from the Discord, our Discord community. So uh, if yeah, you guys can check nice it out. It's nice to be, um, stream, to be live with Ruben again. <laughs> yes, but today oh, we are it. focusing on the Occitan language. So Leonardo, were you able yeah. to listen to, to Gabriel speak Occitan and did you figure out what he was talking about? I think it was a trash bin. Absolutely. <gasps> ah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because I heard all, all, because I, I also speak <laughs> French, so there were all, all sorts of, let's say, words with let immediately recognize my recognize my mind like pizza and stuff like that, nettoyer. So I was immediately making ah. connections into my brain of, of a round long thing you use to put away stuff which makes the room dirty, basically. And, and, and what was that word ballon? Because I did not get that reference. Ballon, you yeah, were saying? That was actually, I think that was an example <laughs> that he was giving to you 
to yeah. help you understand what the, that round object was. Exactly. There was a round. Okay. A round. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. So how do you say round in Occitan just for me to... Redun. Okay. Ah, that's where I got lost. Redun. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Redun. Yes. Yeah, so I think maybe uh, we could do another challenge, but this time um, for Leonardo. So you, Ruben, you can yeah. just uh, listen into it and maybe uh, give your answer after Leonardo Is, has uh, his go. What? What Roman's language should I speak right now? Uh, yeah, you speak a number. So tell us which uh, Roman's languages do you speak? Um, I, as the Roman's languages, I speak Portuguese, English and French. But actually, I, I never ever use Portuguese in this show. But, so but is, 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 isn't, isn't uh, Italian your native language? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> you forgot. So maybe, maybe uh, you could try to use uh, Italian for this one. Okay. Okay. Try to use Italian for this one. Sure. Um, uh, and I don't know, uh, Gabriel, which Roman languages do you speak apart from French and Occitan? Well, Italian, uh, Catalan, Spanish, and oh. that's it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You speak okay. Catalan, Leonardo? Do you speak Catalan? I don't. I don't. I only speak um, <laughs> Portuguese, fr uh, French, and Italian as the Roman languages. And Dutch and uh, Latin, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but, but those are and a bit of Latin. But that I consider that a part because that's so different from yeah <laughs> from the, the other ones. That yeah. Okay. Good. So, uh, uh, Gabriel, if you're ready for another word. We can move on yep. to the challenge, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're just okay. going to listen in. So Leonardo, you're going to switch to Italian now. Pronti, siamo pronti. Vai. Alaves, se na cerca investit che se porto del custa del del ba del cos. Al ba del cos es investit que es fa uh, de telo e que pot haver mantino culo. Quindi hai detto, è un... ora, non so, um, che l'ultima parte non può, può anche non avere nessun colore, hai detto? No, può avere mantino color, da dire mai di no color. Tu ah, plei color. Man... Ah, più di un colore, ok, ok, grazie, più di un colore può avere. Um, e hai detto sotto le cosce? Uh, al nivel de lubas del cos, de dire apre la i gambos. Ah, ok, ok. E per capire se ho capito, lo indossi direttamente attaccato al piede o sopra, cioè tra, 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 tra il piede e l'oggetto. Cioè, c'è qualcosa tra il piede e l'oggetto o no, tendenzialmente? Beh, di fatto, è un uccete, dunque, è più leo, è più restaccato direttamente al cos. È che con che se butto sul cos, più leo. Ah, direttamente... Ho capito, allora, se... le calze, i calzini? No. Ok, ok. Molto interessante, devo dire, ascoltare. Bravo. <laughs> Did, so, what, what was the word? Socks. Socks. And in Italian, it's... Calzini. And in Occitan, it's... Causetos. And Ruben, in French, ah, it would be... So that's quite, quite, quite similar, actually. Ah, me. sorry, you are, you are mute, you're muted. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm, I'm muted, kidding. you. So, uh, uh, Ruben, again. Just said, just said. In Polish, that. by the way, in Polish it's scarpette. Scarpette? <laughs> yes. Well, that's really funny because... That sounds scarpe Italian. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Scarpe in Italian means shoes. Scarpetta in Polish is a sock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, so that's the, the, that's the remains of the Romans, I guess. They left the... 
Uh, that we we didn't have the Romans, but uh, you know oh. we had this queen sorry, in the sorry. 16th century that brought the Renaissance to Poland. You know, maybe she brought the socks with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. You yeah, know, because yeah. in Dutch we actually have some Latin words. I don't know if Leonardo knows why, but we use like prima on like regular basis. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 prima, yeah, cool, yeah, exactly. Well, why do we have Latin words in Dutch, uh, Leonardo? Do you know this? Well, actually, I don't, because, I mean, oh. I think it's the same influence that came to German, because I think, mm. well, part of the Latin words, which actually, I don't know if prima is in that category, but a lot of... Um, Latin words basically came into Germany when and into the actual uh, the territory of France um, with um, obviously with the um, with the Roman Empire conquering the the, the um, close by territories, let's say. But that mm -hmm. is more of an okay. influence on the French, and then I think that that influenced uh, the Germanic languages too, but I am not sure. Yeah, I mean, English oh, English has so many Romance words as well, you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this that's has, true. It has a massive impact. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. So, uh, uh, Ruben, was it difficult for you this time, or was it easier when you were listening to... I, I understood speak? more uh, mm -hmm. because he, he, he said color, colors and everything and all this stuff, and I understood more with those clues, but uh, mm -hmm. in the end, it's... Um, I, I, I'm a bit ashamed because I live close, you know, in Occitani, and for like already nine years, I go back and forth between Holland and uh, Occitani. And I'm ashamed that I just don't learn this language. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I <laughs> now, you, now you know the resources, you know. Gabriel <laughs> yeah. just shared the, a number of resources in this video. You can just rewind and watch yeah. it later. Yeah. Uh, I, speak, I speak, I learned my French. I learned my Greek a bit. So I'm trying, but like you guys have so many languages, I get lost sometimes. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But we actually have uh, another caller calling in, so let me just just add uh, Joanna. Just give me a second. Uh, we're gonna be four people, sir. Uh, yes, uh, probably. We'll see. We'll see what we're going to to do. First, let's say hello to Joanna. Hello, Joanna. Dobry wieczór, Norbert. Dobry wieczór. Oh, how nice. Uh, Joanna, tell us where are you calling from and what languages do you speak? Uh, I'm calling from the Netherlands. I speak Dutch and English natively, and I'm also an interpreter for Spanish. Mm -hmm. So that's Dutch, English, and Spanish are my main languages. I also studied lots of French, some German, which I speak pretty well. I know a little bit of Finnish because my partner is Finnish and I speak fluent Swedish. And there's a bunch of other languages that are probably not relevant right now. Uh, okay, so so the Romance languages you speak, could you remind me because I got distracted? Um, um, Spanish, which is my mm -hmm. working language as well. Mm -hmm. I speak very good French. I have studied some quite a bit of Romanian, some Italian, some Portuguese. Great. So you have uh, the the necessary skill set to to understand Occitan, hopefully. <laughs> so so I think we 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 could do the uh, the challenge with uh, for you this time, uh, right, uh, Gabriel? Um, yeah, I think we could do that. Uh, uh, so you know the, the the rules of the game, right? Uh, jo Joanna, Joanna, uh, Joanna. How how do you? Jak po, jak po, jak po polsku. Joanna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> jo or Asha, if you like. <laughs> Asha, jo Joanna. That's great. That's great. So I think we can start, right? Uh, so you guys, like, you can just listen in. Uh, you know, so you, you're not participating in this challenge, but you can listen and, and, and maybe uh, uh, give us your feedback later. But yeah, if you're ready, uh, Gabriel, do you have the word? Uh, uh, just one question. Which language am I supposed to speak? Uh, you, Spanish, I suppose. Uh, yeah. So which language do you think is most comfortable for you? Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. So just speak Spanish in, in the challenge. Yeah. Perfecto. Uh, vale. I, I think, uh, Gabriel, we can hear you now. Oh, Nurgolomen va a Yeah, okay. No. 
a la vez. Bon, Adam Asatsa de trapa un upsete en caro en cop que se puede trapar uh, normalmente en cada hostal y aquí con Natal. Uh -huh. Es un upsete que es forzo, forzo útil para ser repausa o para trabajar. Uh -huh. Aquí no dice pastro que da ese pausa de que estoy usadas. Entonces es un, es un objeto, es algo que se puede utilizar para, tanto para descansar como para trabajar, ¿es cierto? Exactamente, exactamente. Exactamente. Y pues se puede encontrar en, 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 en cada casa, en, en, en hoteles, en más o menos. No. Entonces, si puedes trabajar tanto ahí como, como descansar, bueno, si, si se encuentra en cada, casi cada edificio, tendría que ser algo como, bueno, eh, bueno como un buró o como un, un, eh, bueno, una mesa o podría ser un, un sofá. Pero creo que trabajar en un sofá es menos cómodo, así que tendría que ser un, un tipo de mesa, ¿no? No, ma es verdad que se puede emplear en un tablo. Eh, la la mat se parte del tenso y en un tablo que es patrolén. Ah. Me espero en un tablo. No es un tablo. Eh, bueno, ¿y es, es esta madera o es de, de plástico? Puede ser, de hecho, si hay de material predefinido, puede ser un poco de tú. Ah, ok. Entonces, puedes descansar ahí tanto como trabajar pero no es, una, no es una mesa y uh, bueno y, um, lo usas durante más durante el día o durante la noche code pen y yo personalmente es pide luxu vaya de mundo de que le emplea un más de nets code pen a ver a ver a ver a ver a ver entonces Puede usar tanto como durante el día como durante la noche. Eh, yo, creo que, eh, yo creo que es un sofá. No, es un poco más pizzu. Ah, una silla. Y un poco más grande. Más, más grande que una silla y... Como una Ma, más a como... Es a colideo, ¿eh? es yeah. más que el hierro, es un poco más grande que el hierro. Uh, bueno, un poco más, gran, un poco más grande que con una silla, pero un poco, un poco menor que en, como, como una cama o una sofá, un sofá. Vale, ¿qué más hay? Como... Eh... Ma te, te cal de murras el video de la callero, eh? es, es, es gay rebino callero, ma es eh. just un tipo de callero un poco más bello. Es como un banco, un banco que, que se usa afuera. O... Uh, no, es video en causa de interior. Ah, va en causa de interior. Uh, causa de interior. No es un sofá, no es una silla, no es una mesa. Pero se puede. Y has, has dicho que, que está construido más de hierro, que de met, como de metal, ¿cierto? Oh, pero de hecho, de todo, y, y ni a que son de, de, de fusto, ni a que son de, de ferre, ni a que son de plástico, ni a me de, um, a me de telo, y a todo un fin de causas, o sea, hay materiales, ni a tu pleno. Ah, pero más grande que una, que una silla. Uh, bueno, esto, esto sí que es una rompecabezas. No, si es palen, es realmente, es uh, a, 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 mi, a mi la calle, o si es realmente. Ah, yo, yo, yo estoy pensando, es que, es que no me viene en mente, es que no me viene, mm. viene en mente la palabra exacta. Pero. Eh, como... en español. Yo con ese para palabra en español. No. Exactly. Yes. So I see, like uh, Gabriel, you are not sure that, uh, what that word is in Spanish in the first place. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, so so let's let's maybe try uh, Ruben. What what's your suggestion? Uh, I was just having Elon Musk on the phone that he has to hurry up ch his chip because I want to learn all those languages. Like how people can learn more than five languages, it's beyond me. Okay, sorry. Uh, my guess is uh, I think it's bigger than a sofa. So let's say um, a huge sofa. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Leonardo, what's your guess? Well, um, an armchair. Oh, me pensi que es acord. Es a causa de algo que es daría Ruben. In Italian, it's poltrona. Ah, So, Joanna, what what was your guess? Yeah, I was thinking I was thinking armchair too, but the word in Spanish didn't come to me. Mm. I was going to say, mm -hmm. but, yeah, uh, but I think it's uh, escaña, oh. but I'm not sure. Uh huh. Uh, but uh, how do you how do you say this word in Dutch, Leonardo? Oh, no, Sion. Oh. Sion is the word. Sion. Oh, okay. Um, Sion. So Sion. Be before anyone says anything else, uh, Gabriel, what is the word in Occitan? Cadierazo. Okay, and in English, it's armchair. An armchair. Or yeah. uh, how, what is it in French? Uh, 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 can I, can I pay or ah, okay. Fotel. Yes. So actually in Polish, Sorry. we also have the word fotel, which means an armchair, which is a word ah. that comes from ah. French. Fotel uh -huh. in French. Fotel. Uh -huh. Yes. So, yeah, fotel, yes, fotel in French too. Yes. So I think we can agree that and in Dutch as well, actually. you Anna got it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got it. You just, yeah. I'm just stupid. I don't know Dutch and French. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. I'm just gonna stick to English. <laughs> Elon, Elon here's a way. Here's a way to remember that. It's it's it's. Here's a way to remember that in Dutch, fote. It's fau to yeah. l, so it's an it's the wrong owl. So it's an owl sitting in the wrong chair. Yeah. Ah, fau, fau fau to l. L. Ah. <laughs> that's name, that's yeah. how I remember. Ah. how I remember that word. Yeah, that is a good idea. Okay. Okay, yes, and there actually is a comment coming from the singularity uh, that is uh, in relation to what Ruben said, that incredible how many languages humans can speak. Yes, yeah. it's, insane. Um, it's insane. I don't understand. <laughs> we are being watched by the singularity, you guys. <laughs> so it, it must, uh, uh, yeah, we, we, we make um, history here. <laughs> so... Um, Great. So, what, what, Joanna? What do you think about Occitan? Was it difficult, easy for you to understand? Uh, it's easy for me to get the gist of it because uh -huh. I, when, well, I mean, I speak Spanish on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So, and I do have some experience with Catalan. I have some fam family members that live in Catalonia. Mm -hmm. So, I have some experience reading Catalan and understanding Catalan and Valencian, even though I don't really speak it. Even though I don't, I don't think I can say more than an but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your Spanish is really good, by the way. Just for you to know. Yeah, your, pr <laughs> your pronunciation is is, is great. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but you said I'm you were an work... interpreter, so I have to. It's, yeah. It's my job. Yeah. It's yeah. my job. Ah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> so okay. somehow, uh, you know, I mean, it's still great, you know, even if it's your job, because somehow sometimes <laughs> people say. <laughs> Because it's my job, it's uh, it's not um, as worthy of admi admiration, but it still is, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's and uh, yeah, yeah, that's great. So um, let me just just have a quick look uh, at the the chat and uh, if there is any more people that want to call in, um, because I can I think I can only have four guests at a time in the in the software so there, i'm not there sure there is a guy called G jerome arono he's saying salut gabriel je uh blah, blah blah yeah maybe him is into is your friend no yeah um uh sorry i i i didn't hear that um in the chat it's a guy yeah i wanted to tell gabriel sorry by the way my oh, brother yeah. is also called gabriel that's very funny <laughs> yeah. thank you thank you jerome yeah, so I see uh, Bjorn was trying to, to contact us, but for some reason it, it didn't go through. So so um, what we could do if Gabriel... Somebody if he, who speaks Mallorcan, Mallorcan, I heard Gabriel saying. 
possibly, no, I, possibly, yes. I'm, I mean, I don't see anyone speaking Ma Ma Mallorcan. Uh, Mallorcan is basically Catalan, right? It's a, it's yeah, a, it's a, a, a variety yeah. of Catalan uh, in in any mm. of the people who registered. Mm. But anyway, so if if someone uh, wants to participate, they need to uh, make a call. But I think that now can we, we do we one could, more word? Can we, we do could, one more We could word? potentially, yeah, we could potentially move to this screen now. To the classic oh, yeah. yeah. format. Easy. <laughs> yes. Let's go. And yeah, uh, that's a cool one. we could do the challenge where everybody can uh, participate, you know? Um, so, uh, Gabriel, do you have a, a word po possibly that you would? Of course. And this one will be really hard. Good. Good. That, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's great. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hard was used. Use like uh, words that like uh, sometimes are a bit easy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So right. so just just a note for everybody. Like, um, try not to speak over each other. You know. So give each other uh, uh, time to speak. And may maybe let's, uh, Gabriel. You will be like. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. I just managing made, like, the conversation. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just made like three reactions to music videos of Judy Irvish, and so I'm still in that mood. I'm sorry. I have to calm down my energy. Sorry. Yes. So so maybe just uh, Gabriel, if you could maybe ask people uh, to uh, to speak. You know, if they have yeah. any questions uh, and stuff like that, what they understood. So every all of you are going to get um, a time to to speak and ask for clarifications, and then. After that, uh, we're going to present the words like uh, one by one. Okay. Okay. Uh, great. So if you're ready, I think you can start. Alla vez, ne ho ne ho patro dire perché sia un po' mai complicata per usare tre di tuba. Ma per comenza, avanti ai vostri domandos, direi che schicon che si può trappa in la natura. Maki, Um, se non è un animale andiamo a pensare a altri esseri viventi, cioè piante forse? Oh, è spirito del Gustavo e Setan. Oh. Ok. E che vuole su indici mai? Sì, claro. Uh, sì, sì. Alla vez, è es... mm, chi con che si può trovare Peis bosques, uh, principalmente peis bosques, o din dors, ma che sono forso grandes. Entonces se puede, se puede encontrar en los bosques y normalmente son bastante pequeños, pero a veces pueden, pueden ser bastante grandes, pueden crecer un poquito más. O oh, a qué depende, fácil de tutora italios, tutora italio. Ah. Ok, de, de cualquier tamaño, vale. Mm -hmm. uh, moi, je n'ai pas compris pour l'instant. Oui. Pour l'instant, je ne sais pas. Posso hipotizar algo? No, oh, digo. Un fungo, forse? No, interesante, no, no. es para simbule. No, porque los hongos tampoco son tan grandes. La mayoría de los hongos son bastante pequeños. Y si pueden ser de cualquier tamaño, sí. también po podría ser un, un tipo de árbol o eh, algo, con algún tipo de leña, algo así, oh. madera. Y aquí con la peurre a mí la leña. Oh. Hmm. Okay. ok, entonces está en la nature. Euh, c'est pas un animal. Euh, euh, Est-ce que c'est un chant, par exemple, un chant? Euh, non, c'est pas trapa pescans, mais c'est pas lucan. Mm. 
contiene, uh, es, bueno, es, es un uh, contenedor de agua, en el sentido que un río, un, un lago, algo así. Uh, bueno, uh, lo, las plantas también contienen agua, pero no son como vehículos grandes de agua, que, que fluye o que... No, no, no. Y necesito un poco de agua. Ako o ma es pakikon que po kuntene daigo. No, no. Ok, vale. Es que se no pse en boa o. Pa. Oh, es pleo de fusto. Oh. Sí, ok, ok. Allora. Uh... Uh -huh. Un albero, forse. Es pa un albero, ma no sabes inan. Es que con que... Ah, que ah es, un, es un arbusto, entonces. No, ma ni a través de arbustos, es verdad. Ok, entonces se parla un arbre, uh, pero... Me uh, 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 es un objeto que uh, es en bois, entonces... Uh, mm -hmm. ¿Es que tú puedes dar un dernier indice para nosotros, si vos querés? Oh... Mm, se pourrait comparer en termes humains en disant que c'est un peu le mantel des arbres. Mantel des arbres. Ah, comme, una, comme la manta de los arbres. Oh. Yeah. Ah, manta euh, de... oh, ok, je pense que je sais. Est-ce que c'est une, euh, euh, une branche? No, ma verdad que ni a si hay brancos, también. Un feuille, un feuille. No, ma... Um... Ahí debe, ahí debe. No, yo creo que es la corteza. La corteza. Um... Leo, ¿sabes pa quién es esto para Raúl? La corteza de un árbol es como la piel de un árbol. Ok, al arroz es algo, es algo. Las... Por su plan. Corteza, corteza. Corteza. Bones horse. Sí. Ok, so yeah, Joanna vale, got vale. it. Joanna got it. However, you guys... I wanted to say that. Fuck! I was like uh, having... I, I was having doubts between like uh, yeah. Bones horse or... I think, uh, yeah. I think we all three got, got, yes. got it at the end. In the end. Yeah. 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 We all, yeah. Yeah, so we, we just forgot about the uh, uh, presenting the word uh, part, but that's great. You know, it was still kind of... Here's still Norbert guide. coming to tell us how <laughs> stupid we are. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, no yes. You know, it's very <laughs> exciting to, you know, to, to do this. So so this is great. So now, okay. guys, tell uh, what, what were your guesses? Leonardo, what did you think it was? What did you understand? Actually, if somebody could help me with the English word, but in Italian, it's corteccia. Gabriel, do you have any ideas? I have no clue in English. No, I don't know. <laughs> tree bark. <laughs> tree bark. The bark of the tree. Yeah, oh. yeah that's the English okay. translation, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. I know in French it's a tronc. Uh, not exactly. No, the tronc. Oh, pardon. pardon not pardon, exactly, pardon. no. <laughs> C'est quoi? C'est quoi? Dis -moi, dis -moi. In French will be l'écorce. Ah, oh, d'accord, yeah. comme, 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 comme les gens en Corse, voilà. Mm. <laughs> non, <laughs> non c'est pas comme les gens en Corse. <laughs> <laughs> ils, sont, ils sont toujours en colère, donc... Uh, <laughs> Always around the unit, please. <laughs> For no <laughs> reason. Ça va jamais avec les Corses, ok. Pardon. <laughs> Okay, so actually, uh, what is the Occitan word, uh, Gabriel? Because I might have missed it. La Rusco. La Rusco. Ah, Rusco, it's totally different. Yeah, Rusco. we could also say la pelle, just like the skin. La pelle, it's like ah, in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. In Spanish, yeah, it's like pola, no? Or pola, something else in Spanish. Piel, piel. Ah. Yeah, okay. Piel, yeah. uh, pie, pie, uh, uh, pelle, I think it's Italian, but uh, la piel, la piel de, la piel, es, eso es la piel, lo que, mm -hmm. lo que tienes acá. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, la peau, la peau en français, oui. La yeah, peau. la peau, oui. Yeah. Ah, In la German, peau. it's uh, rinde. Rinde. Bon. Rinde? Oh, rinde, sorry, okay, rinde, yeah. 
Yeah, and in Polish, yeah, in Polish accents, it it's Kora, 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 Nikora Sol. It's like in in Spanish. That's something different. Oh, Katusha says, I think in in Russian it's Kora, Kora as well. Kora. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit like Dutch then. Schors, boom, schors, Kora. Yeah, well, yeah, I see similarities, but. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that was that was i don't know i don't know just the uh, word uh, yeah that was a, a bit yeah. more challenging because it was very specific you know but it's yeah. it's, it's great yeah. uh, yes, I like, I like, this was a good example yes so, tell me gabriel yeah. yeah i see you have great great uh uh great guests so i try to have really complicated words <laughs> yes yes everybody speaks um uh, very very what many languages yeah. yeah well like i mean i understand some spanish and a little bit catalan oh. because catalan can be a mix of french and spanish sometimes uh so i was hoping occitan to be that too but occitan is way more like latin yeah it's really uh yeah it's 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 a uh, it's a nice language mm -hmm. yes. maybe i'm wrong i i think i'm wrong because the person in the middle is saying that i'm not really correct on what i'm saying no, I'm just I'm just like trying to think about how where I would place Occitan on like the, yeah. you know, if you have like a big map or dialect continuum of all the Romance language where I would place Occitan, and mm -hmm. I feel like it's it's close to Catalan or what I understand is Catalan, but uh, I feel like there is some Italian influence in it as well because I, I also heard, heard I heard I heard Gabriel say uh, dunque. Or something like this, which is of course in Italian, yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is of course an Italian word. I assume also probably that your word for woman is probably something like donna. Uh, or donna, as we say. Donna. Yeah. And and man is home or? No me. No me. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And like in Italian, it's prima donna. I know the donna from the prima donna. For, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Donna primiero. Yes. Ah, d'accord. That's uh, that's uh, great. So uh, we we sorry, lost sorry, we Norbert, lost Leonardo. Sorry. We lost Leonardo because <laughs> uh, maybe of the internet connection. Uh, but meanwhile, uh, Bjorn managed to call in. So let me add uh, hey. uh, um, Bjorn and let's meet him first. Hello, Bjorn. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, we can hear you. Hey. So, Bjorn, okay. uh, tell us, uh, where are you calling from and what languages do you speak? Well, uh, I'm calling from Stockholm and uh, I speak English and French and Swedish fluently, but um, I also know some Spanish, Italian and Norwegian, Danish, some German, some Dutch. Okay, that, that's great. And which is your, your strongest Romance language? French, definitely. French, okay, and and uh, so far, uh, how successful were you understanding Occitan? I was not successful at all. I I understood <laughs> yeah. uh, that uh, when when uh, what's his name Gabriel was trying to explain uh, the word uh, round, I understood that redun meant rond, mm -hmm. but uh, when it comes to the the bark, I was totally lost. I, I understood more of what the I'm sorry, I didn't get the name of the translator there, but she, she, I, Joanna, I could understand yeah. quite much of what she said. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, that's great. So actually, what we can do? Um, let me just switch to this uh, this window. So uh, what we do? Maybe we could improvise one more challenge with um, Bjorn. Bjorn, that's your name. I, I, yes. hear, I hear some, some noises. <laughs> I think it's on Bjorn's side. side. Yeah, Bjorn, because you're not using headsets. Um, I think there is like a feedback loop or something happening. Uh, do you possibly have a... Or maybe it's stopped now. I think it's stopped. Okay. Okay, good. Maybe, you know, you just have to like reduce the volume a little bit. That's fine. Uh, it's working. Uh, so um, the other participants, Joanna and Ruben, you can still stay, uh, you know, and, and we will get back to you after the, the, the challenge and we will see what you, you thought about these words um, and how well you understood Occitan. Uh, 
okay? But this challenge is going to be just for Bjorn, okay? <laughs> if, Gabriel, if you still have some, some words to, to use. Of course I have. I can improvise as long as you want. So, yeah. Okay, okay, that, that's great. Uh, so I think that should work. Let me just click here. And you know, so B Bjorn, are you ready? I'm ready. Which language would you like to use for the, the challenge? Which of the Romance languages French. that you speak? French. You're going to be uh, speaking French. Okay. Uh... Perfecto. A la vez, te voy a demandar de cerca de la custa del reine animal. Per ne truba un que es pla pulit y que es tu pizune. Alors, c'est un animal qui est un peu petit. Oh. Et est-ce qu'il euh, se trouve dans, dans la forêt ou sur la prairie ou euh, quel type de euh, habitation ou euh, habitat hmm. Alors, du mien général, c'est un animal qui vit au pays de bosques. Ah, dans les bois. Hmm. Non. Et est-ce que c'est euh, bah, la grandeur, la, la taille de cet animal, est-ce que c'est euh, plus grand que, disons, euh, un décimètre Oh, mais pense, est-ce un peu de la taille d'un gat Maillot mens. Comme un, comme un chat Oh, maillot mens. Oh, Est-ce que c'est un animal qui se trouve, euh, qu'on peut, qu peut trouver dans un zoo Nous, parce que pour nous autres en Europe, c'est pas tan exotique. Est-ce que quand se peut trouver qu'il arrive d'un peu tout, à la vez, nous, il n'y a pas de lui parce que c'est un zoo l'autre nous. Hmm. La taille d'un chat... Et est-ce qu'il euh, est-ce que cet animal porte euh, euh, la poêle Oh, c'est un animal qui a, qui a des pelles et qui est un force douce. Et bon, ça dépend, mais souvent, ils sont de couleur brune, euh, grise euh, ou negro, mais pas tant. Plus ou brune ou, ne ou, ouais, brune ou negro. Euh, bon, et je pense que ça pourrait être un herméline. Oh, non, c'est mai euh, un carro mai classique. C'est ce qu'on peut monter, monter sur les arbres. Hmm. Il, 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 il rampe dans les, dans les, dans les arbres, c'est ça que tu as dit oh. Hmm. Et euh, est-ce que c'est, euh, euh, je ne trouve pas le mot en français, mais en, 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 en anglais on dirait euh, squirrel D'accord, d'accord, une squirrel. <laughs> Great, uh, so what was the, the word in uh, Occitan Esquirol. Esquirol, which in English is... Oui. Uh, squirrel. Squirrel. Okay. Uh, I, I said it in the chat before Bjorn answered, so my French is better, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. It's, uh... it's, it's okay. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> uh, what about Spanish? What about Spanish, uh, Johanna? Ardia. Ardia. And in Polish, in it's in Polish, it's Vivurka. And in Swedish, Ekor? Ekor. Yeah, like in Dutch, like in Dutch. Echo, yeah. Which takes Echo. us to the, the old English episode, uh, if we probably have seen it uh, already, and we also use that word, uh, which is related to ac acorns, right? The, yeah, exactly. The fruits it's that uh, oak the squirrels eat. And uh, or, which is, uh, yeah, I can't really know that the history of that word, but oak, it has to do with that tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah and, because oh, it eats the why... acorns now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Ah. Uh, what, what about the Occitan uh, word? Like, um, 
Gabriel, do you know any etymology of that? Esquirol? No, I, I have no idea where it comes from. Uh, but it does sound a little bit like squirrel in English, right? Yes. So it's yeah, like it's could be some sort yeah of the reason that it sounds like squirrel in English is probably because that word came through the old Latin or the old French word. Because in French, it's écureuil. But mm -hmm. the, yeah. A, yeah. the A, the, I know that the accent on the E means that the S was dropped. So it probably used to be escurai. Yeah. And that's the exact same word in Catalan. So I think this yeah. is really the same word. Yeah. But in sp Spanish, they for some reason, they say ardia. I don't know why. Ardia. Ardia. Es una ardia. Una ardia. Sí. Uh, yes. I mean... Uh, Sam is suggesting it could be a, a Latin word, scurius. Yeah, probably. It's probably got some Latin etymology that because words that in Latin started with an S often got an E appended at the front, added at the front. Uh, it's the same with, with other Latin words too. Yes. Yes, so Bjorn, you, you got the word this time. Uh, what's your impression? What's, well, it was easier this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say that from 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 what uh, Gabriel explained uh, this time, I understood maybe twenty percent. Uh, I mean, all the colors, all the objects, but the verbs, I but was totally you, lost. Did you understand that he was talking about pay Basque? No, <laughs> not at all. Oh, okay, okay, because I I heard him talking about pay Basque. I was like, are there a lot of scrolls in pay Basque? I did, Gabriel. Oh, no, 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 it was not. He was talking about Bosque, yeah. like Bois. Yeah, yes. Ah, okay, sorry. Exactly. sorry. Okay, that's why I was like, okay, that's why I asked. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, so that's that went well. <laughs> that went well. So if we still have some time, uh, we could do one more challenge. Uh, Somebody said Ardilla is from Arabic, maybe. Who knows? That's very logical because uh, Spanish has a quite a large Arabic substrate in the in the words due to the due to the Moors being there. So that's it's the same okay. reason that for uh, olive oil they say aceite, which mm -hmm. is from Saidan. Mm -hmm. So or almohada, which is for uh, for a pillow or cushion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there is uh, there are Arabic words in Spanish quite a lot. So uh, if you guys are ready, we could uh, move on to this screen again. Uh, and do one more that would probably be the final one for for tonight uh, i love but, this yeah. by the way i love this thank you so much norbert <laughs> thank you so much gabriel uh yeah. thank you guys for calling and and you know without you we wouldn't have the show so thank you so much for calling in thank you anna thank you uh, so um yeah we're going to do this again just just gabriel for you uh you want to make sure that there is time for them to present their words so so everybody has a chance to present the word before the final review so oh okay so okay they okay they make a guess and they say i think this is it this is it this is it yeah like and i'm I... ready to to make a guess yeah Okay. Yeah, so then we can compare the, the results. Okay, okay, guys. So also you guys also, if you feel like you're ready, you can just say I, I, I have the, the, the word uh, and I'm ready to present. Uh, good. So if everybody's ready, I'm going to disappear. Is this this button? No, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you can start. Ara ves, anem a parlar de quicon que és lligat a l'arquitectura i que és força empleat per se desplaçar, per la mobilitat humana. Que és el primer indici. És que c'est un détail dans l'architecture d'un bâtiment, comme un petit détail comme balustrade ou quelque chose comme ça? No, es es plamai que un detall, es realment qui con de bastit. Es un bastit en se. A batima, okay. Es pa es pa Te podí pa tro dire, ma o oh, es qui con de bastit, es qui con de dur. Mm. 
Une entreprise, je pense, mais je ne vais pas dire le mot déjà. J'ai entendu parler le, le mot euh, architecture. Non. Je ne crois pas que ce soit une entreprise. Roberta, tu es pas de firme. Non, non, non. C'est lié à la, à la construction humaine. Construction humaine, c'est OK. Euh, un autre indice, s'il vous plaît oh. Se pourrions comparer la vie de Nutzat et Sforzo Plavist à un corredou. Est-ce pas un corredou, mais se pourrions comparer à un corredou hmm. Corredou, est-ce que c'est le même mot que carrère en, en, en catalan Exactement. Une rue. Oui. Puoi di patro parla perché e ai calavei non ho presente su dai parlavo, ma vedi che Joana ha patro parlato in caro a che te con. No, no, è che sto pensando in lo lo che has dicho. E bueno, eh, io solo sto sto tomando appuntes per luego decir <ride> lo che quiero decir, no? Nunca mm. has sai idea io. Pero tú está claro. No, no, es exact, no, es, no está claro exactamente, pero tengo un, una idea, porque has, porque has dicho que se usa para desplazar a los humanos, entonces los humanos pueden viajar por ello. Así que es algo que se construye, uh -huh. pero eh, una pregunta, ¿es que se puede construir esto sobre el agua? Uh, no. Okay. Est-ce que c'est un ascenseur mm, bah Après, tu ne peux pas donner la réponse parce que quelques tout le temps peuvent se parler. Euh, Ma... Un couloir, couloir peut-être Bueno, oh, je vais... Je... Est-ce un courrier de l'eau Je vais écrire ma mi... adivinante. Et... Mi palabra y mm. después, después lo voy a mostrar y ya. No. <risa> y, y para te responder, ¿es un corredú o que sería un corredú exterior? Porque es plagrán, a mi tuple de bastimentos, de inmuebles, de hostales, de causas de tal. Y es plagrán. Yo pienso que es un culo, ¿eh? ¿Y es algo que se, que se, que se puede hallar en, en las ciudades o en los pueblos? Exactamente, exactamente. Ok, vale. La ciudad, la ciudad, el village, es... Oh. Cada cop que hay un investimiento, hay ha esto causa. Vale, ok. Entonces tengo, ya, tengo, ya tengo mi idea y voy a contestar vale. luego. Vale. Donde ocurre dos exteriores, canto su inmune. Su ben a mi no placo que, que explico en Pau, el urexino de que esté nu. Pero, pero son grandes o pequeños, son los pequeños que, que tienes en, en las ciudades donde los edificios están muy agregados así o son un poco más amplios. No son, puedo un ser un Pau bello, un Pau gran, pero son palos enormes, son muy de... Ah, ok. Son... No son como, no son como esas, esas avenidas de como la avenida de insurgentes en la Ciudad de México. Oh, ok, ok, vale. No es para tan preciso, es un humut ralumen básico. Ok, vale. Está bien. ¿Cómo la ves? Yo no sé, pero yo pienso que lo ¿Y tú, Björn? Yo he visto una rue, una pasarela, algo así. Ok. Bon. Donc, ça... l'indice ultime, et après, vous pouvez écrire le mot, est ce qui compte que. Pouvez passer de ça dans cette cause. Vous pouvez passer de ça dans cette cause. Vous pouvez mener de la voiture dans cette cause. Vous pouvez mudar d'une autre à une autre. En passant justement par cette cause, et en y a de tout et la y bilos. Mm. Sí. Et 
una cosa más uh, se puede, se puede desplaza desplazar sobre uh, aquella construcción uh, en, tanto en pie como en bicicleta como en coche Acu Acu ah, ok de acuerdo vale ah ok yo sé me ok en feedback lo está yo no yo no puedo decir nada tenemos que escribir las cosas después Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Uh, guys, okay. are you ready to present your words? Uh, Joanna, we... yes. Uh, Ruben? Yes, yes. Björn? No, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Do you have uh, any, been... any sort of guess? Maybe you, you have like, you could. Well, have, uh, I mean, uh, Joanna was talking about, uh, you know, uh, traveling, and uh, that's why I was, you know, very, very. Um, confused because I thought it was architect architectural detail and, and, and I'm lost. It's something to do with streets. No, no, no. That... Somebody in the chat is saying North Street too. Okay, okay. So so okay. what we can do yeah. Gabriel, let's let's present the word. So let's uh, uh, let's start with uh, uh, Bjorn. You say it's an architectural detail which in French uh, would be <laughs> <laughs> No, no je dis uh, uh, une rue. <laughs> Une rue. Okay, that would be your your, your guess. Yeah. Joanna, uh, Joanna. Uh, una calle. Mm -hmm. And Ruben. Architects or did un bâtiment? Yeah. Which in English is? Uh, uh, it's like an uh, entreprise. It's like a uh, no. It's not. Um, it's like an, uh, uh, a building. Sorry, building. Building. Uh, Gabriel, what's the, the final answer? Carriero. Uh, carrier. Mm. Which is, is in, in, in English? Street. Uh, a street. Just ah, a street. so it was... Uh, oh, so he was right. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, so so Bjorn, you got it. Joanna, you got it. And... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Always bravo, last. <laughs> bravo for you, you all. And uh, Ruben, my life. Ruben no, no, not this time. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no bravo for no you. Bravo. No yeah, applause for you. <laughs> yes, that's good. That's good. So yeah, that, that was a very abstract word. Yeah, we have to say that was very abstract. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. That has to make things difficult, you know, because otherwise they just guess in two words. Yeah, that would be too quick. That would be uh, too quick. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the point where I got it was when uh, I asked about the avenues, mm -hmm. because yeah. uh, I already knew that it was some type of street or some type of walkway. That's why I asked, does it go over water? Because then it would have been a bridge. Or yeah. it, is it very big? So then I have to find the right word. Is it an avenue or an alley or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I was like, I let the Spanish and the, and the Occitan speak, so I can just like try to guess between those two a bit, but yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that went uh, quite well, quite well. You guys got it. Uh, it was very abstract, but, but that's, that's fine. Um, yes, so I think, I think it's, it's, uh, it's time to uh, slowly... Uh, finish the stream so uh, thank you everybody for calling in uh, it's been so much fun uh, sorry there's just one question in the chat someone uh -huh. asking if there is an uh, Occitan equivalent for Ruel which is a little street in uh -huh. Occitan yes we say Banelo Okay, that's the detail. Uh, yeah, so so before we go, before we, we, we all go, um, Gabriel, do you want to add something? Do you want to share some interesting facts about Occitan that we will take away with us? Um, what would you say is the most unique part of uh, the, un the most unique thing about the Occitan language? The most unique thing about this language? That's hard, but I would say that if you speak Occitan to a great Occitan speaker, then you're necessarily speaking to their heart. So mm -hmm. if you want to have a very special relationship with an Occitan speaker, just speak Occitan and you, you will earn so many points and you will discover so many great things because when someone is asking you things in your language, well, it feels so great. And if this language is endangered <clears throat> or well-known, it's just so 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 nice and so cool to have a conversation like that so yeah i think 
if you're meeting some accent speaker and speaking Occitan, well, that'll be really great. So the most <laughs> yeah. unique thing is the connection that you can have with the Occitan yeah. uh, people. Yes, great. Exactly. That, 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 that's great. So Gabriel, uh, before we go, uh, tell us uh, the name of your channel uh, and yeah. where people can find you. It's called Parpayum Blau, it's written there in the chat. It's also written um, in the description box and in, in the title. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is, uh, well, yeah, we have a YouTube channel where I post a lot of things. The vast majority of things are on YouTube, but I also have an Instagram where I focus more on um, specific grammars, yeah, grammar things. On my channel, I speak about a lot of topics, not necessarily linked to the accent language, but on the Instagram is just grammar and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, and why uh, why did you name your channel uh, like this? Yeah, it means blue butterfly because, well, I love the col the blue color is my favorite. Mm -hmm. And I wanted a name that could be easy to recognize for someone, easy to brand actually as well, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. also easy to remember and to understand for any uh, French speaker living in Occitanie. So Parpa Yumbla was just was pretty cool because I love the idea of blue bit of fly. <clears throat> it's pretty easy to remember and it's really cool if you want to have images or creations, you just have to add a blue bit of fly in, you understand? Yeah, okay. So so uh, so that's where people can find you. The links are in the description box. Thank you so much um, to you, Gabriel, for uh, being the guest on the show and sharing your passion and your love for the Occitan language and Occitan culture and for creating this pla amazing platform on YouTube where you, yeah, you connect for, the Occitan community. <laughs> well, thank you for, for having me tonight. I was really, really happy to make the first video and really happy to make this one as well. So thank you. Great. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody who participated today and who uh, have been hanging out with us this evening uh, live you. on, on the YouTube. Thank you so much. Uh, I will see you. Thank you so much. I will see you next week uh, in another uh, Ecolinguist live show. We're going to improvise some language challenges. We'll see what's going to happen. It's live, so we never know what's going to happen. So Can I just add a question to Gabriel? Subscribe to Ruben Rex. <laughs> uh, you want to add a question to Gab Gabriel? Uh, yeah, just a short one. Okay. Uh, is is Occitan is Occitan a language that is unique for all yes. regions in in southern uh, Europe, or do you have different dialects? There are a lot of dialects. <clears throat> there are six great dialects, but they are all divided into infra dialects. So yeah. And, I and can... what dialect do you do you speak yourself? Is it like? Uh, so some, some the, uh... yeah the central and standard one in this video is the standard one okay mm -hmm. thank you very much great thank you That's so nice. for more information about the occitan language we invite you to check out the um, <laughs> gabriel's youtube channel link in the description and see you next week in another live show thank you very much <laughs>